Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you watching this new broadcast on the Tenchou Television Channel of Dongnan Province. Deputy Crown Minister Zheng Hongha signed a decision number 2015 issuing the plan to implement the urban planning strategy for Dongnan Province for the 2021 to 2030 period, with a vision toward 2050. The plan aims to effectively implement the Crown Minister Decision No. 586 of 2024, which approved the urban plan strategy for the Dunham Province for the 2021 to 2030 period. With the vision to 2050, it lays out a roadmap for launching projects that will meet the goals, tasks, and solutions outlined in the provincial plan. One of the plan's key priorities is to focus on urban infrastructure projects that ensure modern, synchronized development. It aims to boost regional and interregional connectivity through six corridors and three rings. The plan also strengthens infrastructure that connects local areas with Lomthan International Airport and Pinghua Dual Purpose Airport. Priority sectors for investment include transportation infrastructure, industrial parks, high-tech zones, information technology parks, inland parks, and logistics infrastructure. Additional priorities are urban development projects, luxury tourism and resource service, renewable energy projects, high-tech agriculture and infrastructure for information technology, healthcare, education, culture, sports, environment, trade and services. On September 21st, at the Rovinso Conference and the Event Center, the third session, the formal session of the eight Conference of Delegates of the Domnai Provincial Vietnam Youth Union for the 2024-2029 term took place. During the session, the resilient reported on the outcomes of the first two sections of the Congress. In his remarks, Nguyen Sung Hill, Vice President of the Vietnam Youth Union, urged local youth union chapters in Dong Nai to continue focusing on developing a new generation of well-rounded youth. He emphasized creating environments where young people can demonstrate their patriotism through concrete actions and contributions. Nguyen Hong Lin, Secretary of the Dong Nai Provincial Party Committee, offered guidance for future youth activities. He recommended the achievements of the union over the last term and expressed his hope that union chapters, members and youth would further strengthen their roles and responsibilities in the coming time. On September 21st, the Dong Nai Provincial Party Committee, in collaboration with the Ho Chi Minh National Academy of Politics, organized a scientific conference titled Building a Culture to Serve the Nation and the People, Meeting a Development Needs of the Dominion Province, Theoretical and Practical Issues. In his opening remarks, Dao Sung Fu, head of the Provincial Party Committee's organizing commissions, emphasized Domnai's commitment to leadership and the importance of cultural work. The province has implemented measures to strengthen its culture team. Representations at the conference underscored the need for a dedicated culture to serve the nation and meet the Domnai's development goals. Participants discuss ways to support dynamic and innovative cultures who are willing to act for the common good. The insight from this conference will inform future policies and strategies for character management by the Provincial Party Committee. Marine Town Security dominated the agenda of the SWAT meeting, which includes the US, Japan, Australia and India, held in the US on September 21st. U.S. President Joe Biden stated that China is acting aggressively in the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. Speaking at a conference in Wilmington, Delaware, President Biden said that the China continues to behave aggressively, posing challenges throughout the Indo-Pacific region, specifically in the South China Sea, East China Sea, South Asia, and the Taiwan Strait. 
He added, "Today we will announce a series of initiatives to positively impact the Indo-Pacific, including providing new marine time technology to regional partners. While challenges will come and the world will change, the SWAT will remain." These initiatives include cooperation between coast guards, expanding monitoring of illegal fishing, and enhancing regional military collaboration. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres expressed deep concern over the reports of the full-scale attack on the city of Al Fasr in Sudan, carried out by the Rapid Support Forces (RSF). The Secretary General spokesperson Stephanie Dujaric stated, "Secretary General Guterres warns that any further escalation risks threatening the conflict throughout the Darfur region in the Western Sudan." He calls on the Lieutenant General Mohamed Hamdan Himeti Dekalo to immediately order an end to the RSF's attack. In a resolution last June, the United Nations Security Council demanded that the RSF cease its siege of the Al Fasr. You have just watched the English news bulletins on the Domnai Province Essential Television Channel. Goodbye and see you next time.